Hey everyone and welcome back. So since this series of video games and consoles from the loft has been running, how many actual video games do you suppose I have reviewed? Well the answer's none. Not one. Not even a sausage. I mean, I've reviewed many handhelds and tabletops, but in terms of video game cartridges, I have never brought one down from the loft and reviewed it. Until today. That is. And this is not just any ordinary cartridge, oh no, but this is a video game cartridge that holds over 9,999,999 games on it. Really? No. Well, sort of, but we'll get to that in just a moment. <laughs> So yes, this is the 9,999,999-in-1 video game cartridge. And there are many other versions of this laying about, but this so happens to be the one that I own. And which so happened to turn up in a package which I filmed being unboxed last year. And which included my Nintendo Famicom which I purchased off of eBay. And it immediately grabbed my attention and my interest and it certainly makes for a great talking piece. So what is this? Well it's a fake, a clone, a pirate, Arr. and a load of nonsense. And is one of many cartridges just like this one that claim similar things. Such as the 138 in one, the 40 in one, the 180 in one, the 120 in one, the 166 in one, and the 31 in one, and so on. And if you have come across and purchased these cartridges which tended to be on sale in Japan, Hong Kong and China throughout the late 80s, 90s and the early 2000s, you possibly would have been caught out by the pretty decent graphical artwork and pictures which surround the panels of the game cartridges. And when you would plug them in at home into your video games consoles, you would have been possibly quite upset as you would soon realise what these cartridges were really all about. As many of these cartridges really only have four, eight or ten games actually loaded onto them. And to make up the numbers the games are just repeated over and over again and again and again. Okay so here is the infamous cartridge in a bit of closer detail for you now and I mean it'd be absolutely amazing if you could actually have a cartridge with that many games on but it's just physically impossible the most you'll ever find on one of these cartridges is more than likely to be 100 but in general it will more likely be 4, 8 or 10 or something like this which is actual 31 in one cartridge and all the games are listed on the back. Generally the colours of these cartridges and the most common ones will be yellow or black and a lot of them will display these pictures on them of all the different types of games that you'll get on the cartridge and uh, they've all been represented with different pictures such as clay shooting, road fighter, duck hunt here, galaxian which has some bees on it and this one's a rather interesting cart the 180 in one cartridge and this must have been made quite recent as it has Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on it. Now the cartridges are also really light and they feel really flimsy. You, you feel like you could crush this quite easily. Um, if you are after a proper Nintendo Famicom cartridge, it will be generally heavier. It will generally also have the word Nintendo and Nintendo made in Japan written upon it. So if you're after some an official Famicom cartridge, always look out for that. Maybe the quality of the label on the cartridge will also be a telltale sign. And of course, if you're after some of these, well, then you just generally look for these sort of grid lines here across and uh, these cheesy pictures. And of course, if multi carts will generally always be fake as well. Okay, so we're finally gonna check out the cartridge and I'll just plug it in here. Turn it on, and here we go. This is a typical multi cartridge screen, and it has super 9,999,999 in one. And of course, if I just scroll through the games, we can have a look to see what we have. We have Pokemon, Super Mario Brothers, Soccer, Duck Hunt, Galaxian, Road Fighter, Long Live Mario, Fancy Mario, Clay Shooting, and Moon Mario. 
and then that's it. It literally just repeats all of those games over and over and over again. And some of them have slightly adjusted titles, such as we have Moon Mario AG. Now generally, all of these games work. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them at all. And if you do scroll through the list, sometimes you may get a slight adjustment to a game. Maybe the titles are missing, or maybe something crazy is going on within the game. But generally, you'll just get the same game over and over again. There are no differences on the majority of them. There's nothing exciting about this, to be honest. But at least you get the pleasure of playing at least 10 games, which is okay, I guess as long as you didn't play a lot for the cartridge in the first place. Okay, so let's check out a couple of games here and just actually see what the quality is like. And we'll play Galaxian here, and if I just unmute the TV and press play. The sound effects are good, video gameplay is good, the quality of the graphics are pretty decent, and all in all, it's not a bad game but I'm useless at playing it. And if we were to scroll down the list just to see if there are any differences, let's take for instance, here this is number 192 and it's Super Mario Brothers BC. And by the looks of things, it looks exactly the same. Yes, and it is. And this is so typical of one of these cartridges. There generally isn't any differences between the games and You'll be lucky if there ever is. I'll tell you what I've never done though, I've never actually scrolled to the last game on this cartridge and I just wonder how long that will take. What are you doing James? Uh, just trying to get to the last game on this cartridge of that 9 million cartridge. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, about 10 hours. Well, why don't you just press up? What do you mean? On the menu screen, just press up. What? To get to the last cartridge? Yeah. Last game? Yes. But I've just spent half... Oh my god, I've just spent half my life doing this. Well, that's just about it from me for today. But if you've had any experiences with these types of video game cartridges, definitely drop a line in the comments section below and it would be great to hear your stories. Well guys, take care and I'll see you soon.